Hey, I'm Emma and we are at Sherwood Music. If you're familiar with the traditional Persian instrument called a setar, or even if you just occasionally strum a guitar, you're gonna want to see what Balut is working on. They have designed a fully digital musical instrument called an etar. You have got to check this out. I'm here with Ali Tirani and Yasser Karachin of Balut. Yasser, tell me more about what Balut is doing. Uh, Balut is a startup company located at the Digital Media Hub at the Kitchener. Uh, we are making a fully digital string musical instrument. Uh, so the person who plays this instrument will get the feeling of playing a string instrument, however the sound is completely generated uh, digitally. So you can connect it to your computer, record it right away. So what makes the ETAR different from the traditional setar? Well, actually, ETAR is ergonomically based on the traditional setar, but it has, of course, many other advantages to setar. And you can actually play different instruments um, using ETAR, like you can play guitar well and another uh, string instrument. And, of course, because it's digital, it has all the other uh, capabilities that an acoustic instrument does not have. Who is this instrument designed for? Actually, for everyone. Um, starting from beginners, intermediate players, and professionals. Uh, beginners can start uh, learning music by this instrument and um, intermediate players um, can use it as a complement to other instruments that they already play and professionals can use it um, for composing and because it's highly uh, portable they can take it anywhere and if uh, you have creative moments anywhere you are so you can uh, take it out and play it. Like now that uh, everyone has a cell phone or a laptop, we envision a day that everyone has an ETAR. So if you're used to the way normal strings feel, would you be able to pick up the ETAR easily? We designed these uh, blades. Uh, it, it has a sophisticated mechanical system in uh, behind. Uh, so when you touch it, it feels like a real string. Let's talk about this little screen on the back of the ETAR. What's, what's this for? Uh, this is the user interface that the user can select different instruments on it. It can have multiple tuning systems. It can change the volume from here. I noticed there are speaker holes on the ETAR, but where, is that where the sound comes from then? Yeah, we have onboard speaker for a standalone application, so you can uh, carry your uh, ETAR whenever you go. We also have some plugs that can go to amplifiers or to uh, a headphone. So you can hear the sound of the, the instrument from the speakers here and also from external uh, amplifiers or headphones. That looks easy. Can I give it a try? You're a good player, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you're working on the next design already. And how will that improve this prototype here? Uh, th this is our first prototype. And as you see, it's a one-piece uh, solid instrument. And we want to make it portable. So we are going to break uh, the neck in two pieces and make it slimmer so it's going to be a very uh, tiny device that you can uh, disassemble it easily and put it into your briefcase and uh, take it wherever you go. If you want to find out more about the ETAR you can visit balut.com that's b-a-l-u-t-e dot com.